the Meridian Gate is the largest in the Forbidden City. It stands at the origin of the central axis of the Forbidden City and is the entrance to the solemn dignity of the Imperial City. Its setting, structure and shape reflect the Chinese understanding of the sacred. Its position and function symbolize a kind of ancient harmony. The whole structure is modeled after the phoenix. People were required to genuflect before passing through it. This is the Meridian Gate, the main entrance to the Forbidden City. It's called the Meridian Gate because it faces south. At high noon, the meaning of its name in Chinese, the sun is directly south. The Son of Heaven faces south, so facing south denotes political importance, which is why the Meridian Gate is the most exalted gate in the Forbidden City. The Meridian Gate uses tenon joints, which are a crucial part of ancient Chinese wooden architecture. The position of the Meridian Gate represents Yang, while the concave shape represents Yin. Tenon joints have concave and convex matching parts, symbolizing the harmony of Yin and Yang, and the coexistence of the visible and invisible. The tenon joint therefore symbolizes the Chinese understanding of the relationship between heaven, earth, and humankind. It represents a spirit of all-inclusiveness and greatness. The ancient classic, The Book of Rites, requires that the main gates of the Imperial Palace be called the Pheasant Gate. The earliest use of the word pheasant was to describe a legendary fire-red bird. The tower of the Meridian Gate is a five turret structure shaped like a large five winged bird. No one knows what the legendary bird was supposed to look like, but perhaps it was similar to the phoenix. Therefore, people commonly call it the Five Phoenix Building. Although the gate was usually closed, only the true emperor knew the proper time to open or close it to maintain the empire. At the end of a fierce war in 1760, the captives were marched to Beijing for the presentation of captives. All during the Ming and Qing dynasties, this was performed at the Meridian Gate, where thousands of trembling captives knelt with their heads bowed. The emperor sat up high on the meridian gate where he could look down on the captives below. The emperor suddenly broke the serious atmosphere with an expression that showed he was not concerned about their punishment or fear, loyalty or treachery. This is the Meridian Gate. It can open or close at any time without warning, just as the Emperor could quickly shift between severity and leniency.